Let's see if we can get some more light here. Yep. There we go. There we go. All righty. So another in our collection uh, for steam heating perfection. We have filled, partially filled the boiler just to uh, put for an overnight test. We got the pressure troll mounted. Uh, tested the pressure troll with our uh, device and lo and behold, it tested beautifully. Uh, Finally got one that actually works. So we got our, let's see, you got a better, yeah, three pound um, pressure gauge on there. So if you want to check the pigtail, you simply remove the gauge and blow into this T. You got to, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, blow in this 90 in this T. And you got a three quarter inch brass pipe here with a T. Uh, we're going to replace this with a brass plug. And uh, we were re reusing the uh, three quarter by quarter inch uh, brass bushing that was originally in there. So now this can be removed and serviced, and uh, away, away we go. That is the original gauge that comes with it the 30 pound gauge with internal siphon, which basically means it's going to clog and fail because it's right at the, the schmutz line there. Uh, in order to remove these, by the way, a nice tip is you're going to need a 14 millimeter open end wrench to get the uh, to get that off. That's that's really tight back in there. Let's see if you can get the uh, see if they get uh, let's see, come on. There you go. Hey, you can see it now. That's 14 millimeters, not nine sixteenths. Um. We got our sight glass blowdown. I'm going to attach a hose to it so the homeowner can uh, keep the sight glass clean. We've extended this out with the drain so that when the bucket goes here, it's not splashing rusty hot water all over the gas valve. This is a, just a placeholder here. So we got our relief here. It's gonna have a drip come down, copper drip. Skim tapping is uh, ready to uh, capture its load of goo. This is the um, return tee. Normally you can probably get away with going in with inch and a half, but we've increased it to two inch because. And one little thing I want to try is using this eccentric coupling, uh, two by three quarter inch eccentric coupling, so it drains on low on this end, uh, so you don't have a whole lot of, of, of uh, water left over. So this is the equalizer line. This is the uh, Harford loop. This is where we're going to tie in the uh, water feed. Uh, there wasn't a lot of, I could have probably come off, off uh, made, a, made a heel tee here or something, but this is fine. This is extra heavy, um, one inch. Uh, we're going to go in with brass and probably come up with a 90 and uh, tie it into our VXT. We're not sure how that VXT is going to go. That'll be interesting. Uh, I haven't brainstormed on that. This is the return from the Counterflow main. Three quarter inch. Excuse me, uh, one inch with uh, 45s going down. There's our drain, so we can do a honey dip. Uh, we can open that up and put a piece of uh, a half inch copper down there to suck out the, the the joy that's down in the bottom of there. It need be. This is an overall shot. Cover is back on there. Use the force. Right there. Come around this side. Get at it to them there. Our 
counter flow main. There's our regular parallel flow main. Um, most runouts to radiators are counter flow. Like this one here, we uh, cut some of the wood away so we could get a, a make sure we got good pitch coming there and we trim some of the wood there so this could come down. We're gonna, now that this is about in place, we're just gonna put that strap there just kind of for show. Same thing there. And that is our report for today. And stay tuned for further developments.